All right, guys, I think it's becoming pretty apparent that some of you are staying up way too late at night digging through the depths of the Internet trying to find some obscure trailer lock, and you've, you've done it again. This is a Trimax, and I, I got to say, this one shows a little bit of promise. I paid $47.39 for this thing, which isn't too crazy. I mean, this thing is super heavy, and there, there are some things on here that give me a little bit of hope. First of all, I love their saying, lock it or lose it. And they like it too. That's why they got it trademarked. Uh, it is a universal coupler mount. Fits all kinds of different sizes of couplers, so pretty universal. Um, they are very confident because right here it is a full lifetime guarantee, and they say security for unattended trailers. And that is absolutely a huge thing to have to say. That just tells me they've got just a lot of confidence in this product. Uh, absolute maximum security. Uh, very cool. Flip it over. This thing, this bar actually goes along the top and there's enough room above the hitch to, uh, to put a cable or a chain, to chain it down to something, which obviously would be a bad thing. The only thing that makes me wonder a little bit about security is now we can finally see the key. And the key is a, it appears to be a standard seven pin tubular lock. So those are usually not that much of a challenge. Maybe there's something weird about it. Hey, well, let me take it out of the package, run over to my buddy's house, put it onto one of his trailer couplers and see how long it takes to pick it. Hopefully it's impressionable. If not, I'm going to be on my hands and knees quite a while trying to pick this thing single pin picking style. All right, guys, let's take a look at this Trimax. Uh, there's a little rubber cover right here in the front. Pull that off right on the front of the lock. Very convenient both for the user and for someone trying to pick it. Uh, it is a seven pin tubular lock. So we just turn it like that and the bar comes right out. Now you notice the teeth on both sides, but these are not spring loaded teeth. You actually have to turn that key in order to uh, mechanically move them into place. So what I'm going to do is slide that up inside of the hitch, lower that bar as far as it will go, and then pinch it together as tight as you can, then rotate it, and that way there's not going to be a lot of play. It won't actually go any tighter than that, so we're stuck with that. All right, tubular lock. You know what tool we are going to use, right? So let me go ahead and zero all this out, push these all forward. And then I'll just push it against something fairly flat. Oh, we're all zeroed out. Oh, there's one that's not quite zeroed out. A couple of them. Try that again. All right, now I'm gonna tension it a little bit and let's see if we can't orient it correctly and get this Trimax impressioned. Right about there. Okay, it's starting to get a little more play to it, so I think we got several of them picked, but we got to get them all. It's really, it's on the very edge, I can tell, by how much that thing is rotating. There's only one or two left. Must be a couple of really deep cut ones. I didn't even look at the key. And there we go. I'm going to tighten this up to lock them in place, and then I'm going to lock it back. Tighten it down some more, and then I want to make sure, because I really don't want to partially pick a lock, because then the tensioner is completely out of line. It's real bare to get it to pick correctly. So slide it in, and make sure that tooth is lined up with the tensioner on the bottom. Get in there, you devil. And now we have an open, and we also have a good key. So I can use this over and over. I can tow this to my house and then relock it and then Hope Dane doesn't remember where he left his key. Anyway guys, there you go, the Trimax trailer coupler lock. Appreciate your time, stay safe, stay legal, stay away from tubular locks. They're not secure anymore, guys.